If you wanna learn how to record the screen on your mobile device, maybe you wanna record your game or maybe you wanna do something cool like this, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because I'm gonna show you how to do it on your iPhone and your Android device. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Dean Nimmin and you're watching the Master Your Mobile video series where I help you take your mobile device and turn it into a pocket-sized production studio and so much more. So for this video, I had to make the decision, am I gonna show you how to do it on the iPhone first or am I gonna show you how to do it on Android? Well, the decision is for no reason, Android. Now for the Android device, we are gonna use DU Recorder or Do Recorder. It's a free app, and though there are a lot of options out there to record your screen, it's my personal favorite for Android. Now DU Recorder also works on iOS, however, in my experience on my Android device, there are a lot more controls in DU Recorder than when you do it on your iOS device. I don't know why, but we can probably blame Apple. Thanks, Apple. So the first thing you wanna do when you open DU Recorder is come up here to the options where the four boxes are, tap on that, and it's gonna present a whole bunch of options for you up here. You're gonna get your camera access, you can go live, you can edit your video, merge videos, Wi-Fi transferred, edit the image, stitch your images together. This alone is pretty powerful, but we're gonna go all the way over to the right to the settings, and we're gonna go down to video resolution, and on this, I'm choosing 1080p, that's the highest one that I can record on my device. And video quality, I'm gonna bump that up as high as possible too. Now, if your phone is laggy or it's having a problem recording the video, you might wanna come down and knock it down one or even two until it records smoothly. Now, this is your frame rate. I keep mine on 30 frames per second, which should probably cover you if you're doing screen recording. However, if you are a gamer, you might wanna bump up to 60 frames per second because that's gonna give you a smoother playback. But we're gonna keep this at 30. Video orientation, I keep on auto, so it doesn't matter which way I flip the phone, it's gonna cover it. Record audio. Now, this one says internal audio recording is not allowed by Android. However, it gives you the option to record. On my device, I can plug in a mic and I can record audio while I'm doing a screen recording, and I'm gonna show you how I do that in just a moment. Moving on down, you can hide the record window when you're recording. You can shake the phone to stop recording. You can change your countdown. You can show touches. So as you're doing a screen recording, as you touch, it's going to leave a little mark to show you where you're touching it. Now they have a watermark. So if you enable the watermark, it's gonna put the DU screen recorder watermark on there. We don't want that. So we're gonna make sure that is turned off. However, you can add your own watermark. You can add text or add image. Just go in there and add that and it will put it on top of whatever you record. And you can do the same for your live streams. And that's pretty much all we're gonna do on this. So we're gonna close this down. Now when we actually want to record, all we have to do is go up to this top button and hit record. And it's gonna say the DU recorder will capture everything that's displayed on your screen. Now I keep this on and I don't check, don't show again because this is a reminder to me to put it in airplane mode or quiet mode, turn off my internet, whatever I'm gonna do so I don't get messages and those get recorded when I'm trying to record something. So we're gonna start. It's gonna give you a countdown and it's gonna start recording. So whatever I'm doing here, it's recording everything that I do. And when I wanna stop, I pull down and I hit stop. And then it gives me an option on what I wanna do. I can share it and go to these options if I wanna share. I can delete it or I can play it and watch it. Now, if you wanna record your own voice into your phone while you're recording, you can do that. You're gonna to wanna to plug in a microphone for the best possible audio quality. If you don't do that, you're just gonna hear the mic that's built into the phone and the quality's not so good. However, it does work. So let's go in and do a little recording so I can show you how this sounds. Okay, so now the audio is just coming in through the lavalier microphone that I have plugged into the top of my phone. I'm gonna put a link in the description below for that. So let's see what this looks like and sounds like. Now one really cool feature that I like with the DU recorder is if you're doing reaction videos or maybe you wanna record gaming and you wanna put your face on there, I don't know why I keep tapping that, you wanna go up here, type on the wrench and turn on the camera feature. And what that's gonna do is activate the front camera on your phone, which you're gonna see right there. You're now seeing my DSLR so we can enlarge that. Right? And if you turn it, it's gonna turn with you. Hey! Now whatever it is I'm gonna record 
it's gonna record wherever my screen is. So we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna start recording. And as you see, it's recording my video as I move around on my phone. Whatever it is that I do, it's gonna record. And when you're gonna close it, you just exit out right there. Really cool feature. Unfortunately, it's not available on iOS, or at least I haven't figured out how to do it yet. If you do, please let me know. If you're not using the app or the method that I share with you today to record your screen, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you are recording your screen. Maybe you have another way, another app, maybe something that's even better than this. Leave a comment, I will check it out. I'll try to reply to as many as I can, and I do appreciate the feedback. Okay, okay, iPhone users, thank you so much for being patient and sitting through that. I do appreciate it. Now, the DU recorder that I just showed you for the Android device will work on your iOS device, but some of the features are not working on my phone. Maybe you can put it in yours and maybe they will work on yours. I'm not sure, but it wouldn't work on my iPhone 7. And what we are gonna do today is we're gonna use the native recorder that comes with iOS 11. If you don't have iOS 11, you might wanna think about an upgrade, but make sure you back everything up before you do an upgrade grade just in case something goes wonky in the process. And for those of you who do have iOS 11, I'm gonna show you how to put it in, set it up, as well as set up DU Recorder if you wanna have that option to use that as well. So let's get started. Okay, by default, the screen recorder does not come activated in iOS 11. So you need to go to Settings, then you need to come to Control Center, make sure Access Within Apps is activated, Customize Controls, then you wanna scroll down here until you see screen recording. Hit that and you'll see it's gonna add it to right here. So we're gonna back on out. And now what you'll notice is if you scroll up from the bottom, you're gonna see this little button right down here. That is your screen recorder. And if you press it, do a force press, you're gonna see it pops up some options down here. Now these are the other screen recorders that I have installed on the phone. You see I have DU Recorder Live installed. So when you install DU Recorder, this is how you're going to activate it. So basically you'll go in here, force push, and you'll scroll down and you'll click on DU Recorder Live. And then that's gonna activate the DU Recorder. However, for this one, we are gonna do the native recorder. And you'll notice down here, they have a microphone audio on. So you can turn off your audio but if you wanna record your microphone, you're gonna need that on. Now, if you have the recorder already set and you're not gonna to toggle through it to choose a different app, all you have to do is swipe up from the bottom and just hit record and you'll get your countdown and it's gonna start recording. So now we've connected the dongle to the microphone and we're gonna do a screen recording and test out the mic so you can hear what it sounds like on your iPhone. So we're gonna go back up we're gonna force press to make sure camera roll is selected. That's the native screen recorder. But if you want a DU, it's right there. But understand that DU recorder on your iPhone doesn't have the same features as it does on Android. So we're gonna make sure camera roll is on and we're gonna make sure the microphone audio is on, which is red. And then we're gonna hit start recording. So now you see the countdown and now we're screen recording. So we can go in and you also see it blinking right there. That means it's recording. So we're gonna go in, we can open up some things. Let's see what's going on in YouTube. Oh, there's Brian G. Johnson. If you're not already, go over and subscribe to Brian if you're interested in learning on how to grow your YouTube channel. Now, I'm not gonna record a game because I don't wanna deal with a copyright strike, but you can record your voice as well as the game in your iPhone, and that's pretty cool. So when you wanna stop, all you have to do is come up to the red bar on the top and tap that and then stop it. And that's how you stop the recording. Now it's gonna give this little bubble right here. You can tap it and it's gonna open it right up so you can see exactly what it is you just recorded. And that is how you record the screen on your Android or iPhone. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss anything and you can continue to learn how to master your mobile. And I will see you in the next video.